Now I will install the battery box on its base plate using two M3 nuts and two M3 by eight countersunk bolts. There, in my case, in this back label number eight. I will start by taking out the bolts and nuts from the back. And next I will find the right plastic part. It is this plastic part here. I will take out the protective layer from the plastic, starting to peel it from one end. We keep searching until we find loose end and we start peeling from there. Repeat the same with the other side. And peel. If it breaks, don't worry, you can still peel the remaining pieces. Now we will mount the battery box like this. The cable will be oriented toward this cut area here. As you can see, there is cut area on this side and there is no cut area on this side. So the cable should go toward the cut area. We align the battery box in such a way that two of its holes here and here match the holes on the base plate. Take a bolt, insert it through the hole of the battery box like this. In case the battery box has two holes, inserting them in case like in my case Therefore, holes insert in the hole at the end. If necessary, use the screwdriver to dive the bolt through. Insert the bolt, making sure that the cable goes toward this cut area here. Place not. Do not rush to tighten yet. Repeat the same with the bolt on the other end. Place the nut. And tighten. If necessary, use the tweezers to hold the nut in place while tightening. The battery box is ready to be mounted. Now I will go ahead and install the battery box on top of these four pillars coming from the control board. For this we will use four 3x6 pan head machine bolts. Please note that at least in my version of the manual they show nuts but this is not true this step does not require any nuts. The bolts are in this back, in my case, labeled number four. I'll take out four bolts. I 
take the battery box orient it with this cut area toward the ultrasonic ranger so it will allow the cable from the ultrasonic ranger to go through run the cable from the battery box between the pillars in the center between the holes here and here lower the battery box until it reaches the four pillars here, here, here and here If necessary, use the screwdriver to move some wires aside. Use a small bolt to tighten into one of the pillars. And once when one of them is in place, you can go to the diagonal one. Don't worry if a bolt falls inside, it's easy to get it out. Go to the diagonal point and insert the bolt. We can actually use the tweezers to place the bolt in place. Now with the screwdriver, tighten into the pillar. Make sure no cables are obstructing any of the pillars. And continue with the rest of the bolts. Again I will use the tweezers to place the bolt in place as the space is tight. And then Tighten it with the screwdriver. Do not rush over tighten until everything is in place. Now you can go ahead and tighten all the bolts. The battery box has connector which will be connected on the motherboard here where it says battery. Again the connector has key. Make sure you match the key into the proper slot. and insert the connector like this all the electrical connections now should be ready and we are almost done with our robot just a few minor touches remain to have it complete to finish the head the only remaining piece is this top plate. I will take it from the plastic bag. Peel off the protective cover. On both sides. And now I simply will insert it into those slots here, like this. This plate is in place. All the plastic parts of the robot should now be in place. To 
have some cushioning when the robot walks or dances. The kit includes some sticky cushioning pads for the feet. They are in this plastic bag. I will take them out. Take one of them. Turn the robot over. Peel the protective layer for the glue. And very carefully place the sticky part over the foot. There are corresponding holes for the two bolts. Now I can press to have it glue in place. Repeat the same procedure with the second foot. Peel off the protective layer to expose the glue. Place the pad over the foot and glue it in place. Now we can press it. Our robot is ready and it has soft feet. The only remaining thing is to have some decoration for the robot. Here it is. I still need to tighten the servos once when I have zeroed them properly. But other than that, my robot should be complete.